Last Sunday, a safety handle on this roller coaster ride malfunctioned. But when a family complained, the ride was not stopped immediately and the handle was not repaired for several hours. All of the Como Park rides are owned and operated by the Fred O'Neill family. The O'Neills have leased the site from the city of St. Paul for over 30 years and there has never been a serious accident involving any of their rides. Today, I and Vic Wickenstein from the St. Paul Park and Rec Department checked the roller coaster problem with Fred O'Neill Jr. O'Neill explained to us that a catch or dog, as he calls them, on one car handle, failed Sunday. Now there is one. There's another. There's another. Well, we're shooting from one dog to another. It wasn't coming all the way over. From one to the other. Uh, see, there's keys in there, and they match. And it, uh, it's fixed now. All it took was a minor adjustment. But why was the problem not fixed immediately? It was a lack of communication between my ride boy and my maintenance man. That'd be about it. Do you feel that that problem made the ride unsafe at that time? I don't believe anybody could have been hurt. Like I said, there was one, one uh, dog there that didn't catch, and it would just go up to the next dog, so it might have slipped a, an inch, inch and a half. That would be about it. You don't think a child could have been thrown out then? No, a child couldn't have been thrown out. There's no way. And O'Neill says the ride operator has since been reprimanded for not immediately reporting the problem. O'Neill's rides are regularly checked by his insurance company, but some states have their own amusement park safety inspectors. Minnesota does not have such inspectors. How do you feel about having a state inspector for amusement rides like this? Okay, well, I think, you know, again, it would give us an assurance of the safety of the rides, so it's pretty hard to be opposed to something like that. I would agree with uh, Fred O'Neill, though, that it has to be somebody that does know rides. It can't just be, a, you know, like he said, a building inspector. Even though there are no government inspectors here, St. Paul Park and rec officials do have the authority to shut down any ride which they feel is unsafe. And so far, the city is satisfied that the rides here are safe. Bob Clark, Channel 5 Eyewitness News at Como Park.